In light of the recent storm, I wanted to quickly see what the future of the New York City subway will be as sea levels continue to rise in New York City and climate change continues to influence the weather. Will the New York City subway become an aquarium or a water park? It was so bad yesterday, lines got suspended in Brooklyn and Queens and rerouted uptown as far as 168th Street. But what is the city and the MTA doing to prevent this? This map shows what subway stations will look like 10 feet above sea level. The shades of blue indicate 10 feet below sea level. The Rockaways will be the new Atlantis. Virtually no subway trains below Howard Beach. Good luck. Tribeca will be in the Hudson River. The 7th and 8th Avenue lines will be affected unless something gets done at Canal Street. The 7th Avenue tunnel from Houston to the Financial District will be below sea level. While some South Brooklyn lines are elevated, how will subway riders get to the stations if the streets are flooded? Court Square will have no land above ground on the G. For Greenpoint to be serviceable, it will need an underwater tunnel from Nassau to Metropolitan Avenue. The Upper East Side lines, like 96th Street and when the other stations are built, are also in for some trouble. The 6th train in the Bronx is also at risk. The 7th train by Hudson Yards may need some waterproofing. The train yards, 207th Street, Westchester, Corona, Jamaica, Canarsie, Coney Island, and Rockaway are all at risk of becoming Atlantis. In all seriousness, this is becoming a major issue and should be taken seriously in the decades to come as sea levels rise. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, peace, peace.